What's going on guys? Uh, I went to the range yesterday to do some load development on my uh, Faxon 16 inch gunner barrel and it's set up with a 3 by 12 uh, Bushnell AR223 scope and so it's got a decent trigger. I just wanted to get some uh, some load data for some ammunition that I'm reloading at the moment which is this uh, this arms core 55 grain full metal jacket bolt tail and so I worked up a bunch of loads that's this stuff and uh, this stuff right here and so I took out some factory loads and this is what I was doing at 100 so I just started at 100 and you know work through my groups so this is the uh, PPU match the 75 and the 69 grain and I don't know I was putting about an inch or so I made like two or three clicks to the left after this first initial group which is about an inch and so I was like all right so that's my factory uh, you know I guess setting mode whatever you want to call it that's my factory match groups with some match ammo and then I started basically working this group so these are my reloads and there's the uh, data arms core CCI 400 Benchmark is my powder, wolf brass, overall length of 2.252. And so there's my first group. There's my second group. This is my third group. Fourth group kind of got strung out. And then there's my fifth group. And so I did the same test, but I switched the brass uh, casings on it to normal brass. You can see Martha in the left corner. So there's my first group with the reloads using normal brass instead of wolf brass. There's my second group, my third group, fourth group, and then fifth group. Fifth group, you know, by the time I get to the fifth group, I'm pretty fatigued. My eyes are kind of strained. And I'm being also rushed because, you know, they're calling three minutes, one minute, ceasefire. And so I'm pretty much just trying to run through the last five rounds, which is really not all that great for a test like this. But, it, you know, it is what it is. That's the group. And these are just uh, factory loads. Here's PPU. This is the last group I shot of the day. I was getting pretty fatigued. Um, there's my second group with some PMC x -Tac. Uh, 55 grain 556 five, loads uh, this is one of my uh, surplus military bullet loads reloads so it's it's okay it's not great but it's it's still hanging in there um, here's gecko 556 five, which is you know this stuff right here I get it from sportsman's guide it comes on stripper clips it's pretty pretty hot ammo um, look at that Fioki grip. That stuff, that stuff is really good. That's, uh, this round right here with the ballistic tip. It's a 50 grain, 223 load. And it might actually be a better match load than the, uh, PPU match in 75 and 69 grain. But, uh, those are just like, uh, my data results for running, um, the 16 inch gunner profile barrel with a free throw. Uh, rail and a 3x12 optic and so this is just a good representation of how I'm shooting it maybe your guys are uh, results are better or worse and so I'm just trying to figure out um, as far as reloading which load is going to be best uh, for me to push forward through you know with since I have so many extra arm score bullets laying around I probably have like two or three thousand um, bullets that I need to reload using mostly arms core military surplus 55 grain but yeah th those are the groups and I'm, honestly I'm pretty satisfied with it um, I should be able to use my ballistic drop reticule in my Bushnell scope since it's set at 100 I can use the, the ticks down to do two three four five and six so I'm hoping that's gonna help me uh, at long range if I get a consistent load like you know a group like this maybe one click over or something like that and then just leave it permanently like that but that was my range day for Cinco de Mayo and just 
just, you know, letting y'all see the facts. Peace.